Hello, and welcome to a secondhand book unboxing. This, my friends, is a charnel house book unboxing, uh, which is always a delight. I always like getting some charnel house titles. Um, this one is actually my first and probably only lettered edition from charnel house. Um, charnel house goes above and beyond with their lettered editions. They like inserting objects into the boards. And uh, this one is uh, kind of sad unboxing as well. This, my friends, is The New Neighbor uh, by Ray Garten, uh, who actually just passed um, Splatterpunk writer extraordinaire. And, uh, well, he just passed from cancer. So, I think this is probably just an invoice. Yep. Yes, it is. Um, so, yeah. This is The New Neighbor, uh, which was published in 91 by Charnel House. And uh, Joe Stefko, the guy behind Charnel House, uh, for a brief period of time had a small press journal like a little blog that he was typing up, uh, where I guess theoretically he was going to go through his publishing history of all the titles. Uh, he only did a couple entries in it, which is a shame. Uh, but one of those entries is for this, The New Neighbor. Uh, I, I don't know if this was supposed to have a slipcase or not. Uh, it does have a little bit of a ding in the back cover, but I got it for uh, ridiculously cheap compared to the price of what it even was originally sold for back in 91. Um, wow. Okay. So, yeah, like I, like I was saying, uh, Joe Stefko likes going above and beyond with his lettered editions. Uh, he likes inserting things into the covers whenever possible. Uh, and uh, we're going to get into the garter belt, garter clip here as well. Uh, so, here in the letter edition for The New Neighbor, there is lace. That is lace. You can see it's actually moving there. It's just, you know, embedded into the cover, which is pretty unique. This is bound completely in Morocco leather. Really cool, especially for a 1991 title. Uh, the page ribbon uses a garter clip at the end of the, uh, the page, at the end of the ribbon. Um, I don't know how many of these J.K. Potter art pieces I can show you uh, because this is, for lack of a better word, erotic horror. Uh, I believe this piece right here, this uh, half bat, half woman, uh, I believe that is the image that one J.K. Potter, bat of the month, <laughs> that is the, uh, the piece that won uh, J.K. Potter an illustration award. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything pornographic in that one. Um, so yeah, some of these illustrations might be slightly pornographic, so I'm going to kind of go page by page. Apparently this is starting it off with a murder? Is this part of the book? I don't know. Maniac mom chainsaws husband and son in crazy attack. Uh, so the new neighbor is, well, the story of the new neighbor who moves across the street from this small little family. And uh, the family soon discovers that they're all sort of infatuated with this neighbor. Uh, it sounds like this neighbor might be a, a succubus. And, uh, oh. I love J.K. Potter's uh, artwork. It's always so unique. Uh, if you ever get the chance to check it out, uh, Subterranean Press did a collection called Embrace the Mutation, which uh, took a bunch of J.K. Potter's artwork and... Oh, not showing you that one. <laughs> J.K. Potter's artwork and it did short stories based off of them. Nope, not showing you that one either. Because uh, we don't want this video getting flagged. Not showing you that one either. There's going to be a lot of illustrations I can't show you. <laughs> uh, so, anyways, I can tell you right now, not showing you that one either. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot I can't show you in this novel. Um, 
But we have a signature page in the back here, which is printed on... Uh, I thought he said it was like a velvety kind of material. It's a very interesting paper stock. Uh, the paper that the thing is printed on is Mohawk Vellum. Uh, this is the leather edition, which is... It's almost like a PC copy. Uh, this is copy Priscilla. I, uh, I don't know if Priscilla was somebody involved in the making of this novel, and this is Priscilla's copy, or if... Uh, he gave a name, and this is letter P, and he gave a name to everybody. I don't know. Uh, but there is the late Ray Garten's signature and J.K. Potter's signature. Um, yeah. Uh, Ray Garten, he's published a lot, especially in small, uh, small presses, uh, over the course of his career. Uh, the only title I think I've read by him is The Loveliest Dead that Cemetery Dance did, and, uh, it was a fun read. I mean, not fun in like a woohoo, I had a blast, but it was it was uh, it was a very enjoyable read. It was kind of a uh, take on Amityville horror with like some splatter punk uh, thrown in, and uh, it was very enjoyable. Uh, I know Cemetery Dance also did the New Neighbor. Um, you know, six minutes in, I haven't even told you some of the stories from uh, his Joe Stefko Small Press Journal. Um, Essentially, Joe Stefko uh, wanted to publish this because it was a novel that no other publisher would touch uh, based on the content of the novel. And Joe, St Joe Stefko was thrilled to be able to publish this. Uh, so he had like 95% of the manuscript because uh, Garden didn't have the ending yet. Uh, so he had J.K. Potter start illustrating it based off the manuscripts uh, with the only uh, explicit instruction of no hard-ons in the illustrations. And, uh, well, uh, Potter delivered his artwork, and Stefko loved all of it but one piece. Uh, he asked for some changes to that one piece, uh, so J.K. Potter delivered an image with a heart on uh, to kind of get back at him. And uh, let me tell you, that made it into the book, because I, uh, uh, yeah, it's in there. <laughs> um He talks about how the printer who published, printed the words... Uh, refused to print the images. Uh, and then after he said, well, you already printed the words, they went back and read some of the words that they just printed and said, okay, uh, please do not work with us ever again. Uh, he wanted to put a kind of a garter strap, garter belt here uh, as the page marker. And, uh, well, he didn't know where to go. So he uh, he found a woman who sold him a bag of them uh, in out of her flat in New York. So he went uh, and, you know, went up to the steps of her apartment Gave her the money. She gave him back a brown paper bag uh, filled with the clips. And a cop oversaw this transaction and uh, approached Joe Stefko to uh, see what was in the bag. He thought he just saw a drug deal. <laughs> and, uh, well, it's, yeah, no, it, it's these little clips. And uh, he says that he never he never met Ray Garten in person. He said that uh, he, he was a nice guy uh, having talked to him. Uh, he was disappointed that the manuscript that ended up getting published wasn't the exact manuscript that he had previously read. Uh, Garten, I don't want to say watered down, but he changed a couple details, uh, a couple more of, a couple of the saucier details. And, uh, well, Stefko wasn't really thrilled about that, but, uh, so Stefko in his house out in New York somewhere, uh, supposedly, now I don't know when he wrote this, this journal, this, te this, uh, so I don't know if it's been lost to the ages, uh, but he said he still did have that original manuscript, uh, which, uh, was the just X-rated manuscript that no publisher wanted to touch. Um, but the publisher did touch it. Charnel House touched it. And then eventually Cemetery Dance, uh, but I, I have not read this novel yet, obviously. Uh, I actually do have the numbered edition. I was not planning on purchasing a letter edition until this deal came along. Uh, this thing was beneath, like, man, it was, it was, it was beneath retail price of even what it was back in 1991. Um, like significantly, like over 50% off, 60% off of what the retail price is what I paid for this. And I'm like, that, I, after 30 plus years, man, I, I've never had a lettered, uh, charnel house book before. And man, adding one to my collection would be superb. Uh, I know Tim Powers has listed a couple of his personal 
Charnel House titles, including some lettered editions. Uh, but his are way outside my price range, uh, which is a shame because I love Tim Powers and I would love to own a lettered Tim Powers one day. But uh, I don't think that's going to happen unless it's like maybe a subpress lettered. But not like a new subpress lettered because those are pricey. Like an old subpress lettered before they went like the fine press territory. Uh, but anyways, I'm rambling now. Um, seriously, check out Charnel House Press. I have a bunch of unboxings on the channel from Charnel House uh, for you to check out. Uh, I will give this a book review once I've read the novel. Uh, not sure how much I'll be able to talk about it, uh, since I can't even show you most of the illustrations in it, because it's uh, a little risque for YouTube. But, uh, wow, yeah. Uh, like I said, Ray Garten, I, I did not know you personally. I've only read, as far as I remember, I've only read one of your novels, but, man, it, it, it's a loss. Your loss in the community has is felt across the... Uh, the horror community in general. Uh, rest in peace, man. Uh, for you guys that the are watching, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And we'll see you around next time.